Okay, I think I'm back. I think I'm back. Wow, it says I've got 13 thumbs up. Did it? Did it? Did it reconnect to the other one? Okay. Ah. My lungs hurt. Oh. Okay, we're back. If, if, crazy woman. <laughs> I love you too, Trace. Um, if there's another chat going on, if somebody could drop the, um, I don't know if anybody, if anyone, I don't know what's happening because this one says I've got 13 likes. It's crazy. Hey, beautiful Becky, homesteading, green eyes. Yeah, there's some really bad tornadoes here. This one is about 10 minutes, green eyes, this one is about 10 minutes away from us. So, uh, but it's not going to get, you know, it, it's, it's going to keep moving away from us. But I'm looking at the direction of the clouds and they're moving towards us. So I have everything downstairs. Oh, Rita! Love it, Jerry. I'm um, in uh, Leavenworth, Kansas. Yeah, I know, I know. I've been in a tornado before. Got my seconds. That's why I'm not running right now. Well, I can't run anyway, but um, sorry for wobbling around. We usually just get the um, outer bands of the winds. But we've had alarms going off. There hasn't been one gone off. One hasn't gone off for a while. But no, we've been having alarms go off for quite a regular over the past what twenty minutes, half an hour, Trace. Had some big rain coming down. Am I back? I'm watching my GoPro. Did I get that? Okay. I think it's um I think it's when the um the wind goes and the, there's a pine tree there's a branch that's sitting on the um, on the wire and I think that's what causing the Wi-Fi to keep going out Trace says I need a bigger kitchen table for her to get underneath with a cat and a dog. Um, Casey, hey Casey! See, my husband is, in, uh, is a deputy and out in this in Leavenworth County. This tornado is very damaging. Stay safe. Oh, Casey. Casey actually lives in Leavenworth with us too. So, can you do me a favor and keep a hubby in prayer in, in, in your prayers? Because he's out in this. He's out in this, so. Um, it, it has caused a lot of damage. And um, hopefully, it's not going to come our way. Um, it was going through Bonner Springs. My concern is. Two is the. Um, is that the banking on the other side of our creek there's been a lot of landslides um there's trees that are actually coming down big trees 
Oh no. If that blocks up the creek in this area, then we're in for some major flooding. Because um, there's going to be a lot more rain. Oh, Eileen, thank you. Leg for Linda. <laughs> no, my hubby isn't out with in this. Life with Linda, it's um it's Casey so sassy. She lives here in Leavenworth too. Her husband is a deputy and he's out in this. Um so we have everything, all my gear and everything is is downstairs. So Well, I can't dance in the rain anymore because it affects my breathing. So, yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy. Um, my husband is watching the local news. He's keeping an eye on that and we keep getting warnings um, over my phone. So, um, you know, hopefully things are going to be okay. Oh, Carol, Connor, my hubby, how are you, my dear? It is so good to see you. Uh, Carol O'Connor is my, my, uh, yeah. I love his sense of humor. He's got a good sense of humor. Uh, hi, the story of Dory. Oh, you've just got tornado warning in your new home? Yeah. Well, we haven't had any alarms go off for a while. So I'm hoping that, um, Tanya Bruce, hi sweetie, we, we are going to be safe. So I'm just hoping now that, you know, the tornado is going to go. Carol O'Connor says, I hear a joke. I hear a joke too. <laughs> if variety is the spice of life, then marriage is the big can of leftover tuna. Oh my god, Carol O'Connor. <laughs> oh, trust you. We will stay safe, I promise. Um, you've never had a tornado warning up in North Jersey? Well, I'm sorry, Dory. I was actually uh, had a tornado when I lived in Philadelphia. I actually had a tornado. I lived on the outskirts in the, in the suburb. There was actually a tornado that went over the house there. So, oh, thank you, Gomez. Yeah, thank you. I'm so I'm 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 hoping that you know nobody has um. Dire India had a tornado yesterday? Really? That's crazy. That's absolutely crazy. The weather has been nuts. I mean, it seems like it hasn't stopped raining for months. I mean, we've had the odd day or two without much rain, but then it's rained during the night. And the bank on the other side of our creek, well, creek, there's been some mudslides down into the creek. Um, there was one yesterday, actually just moments after I left that area and walked back up into my yard, I heard this cracking. I turn around and I see trees moving. So yeah, one came down. Um, so the banking is giving way opposite. And my concern with that is that eventually it's going to end up uh, giving way so much that it's going to block the, the the flow of the water and then that means we're going to end up with a huge flood problem. Oh, I don't really have a pad anymore. I like it. Every time I... Sorry! Every time I try and stick you out there it goes off. The Wi-Fi goes off. So, 
It looks like the darker clouds are moving away. And we're getting some lighter sky. Still a lot of thunder. <laughs> I don't know if anybody's in the chat. Okay, we're back. So much for over 50 and fabulous. You are so sweet. Thank you so much. Um, uh, Sherry Holdren said, when I lived in Michigan in the early 80s, we had a tornado come through about half a mile from my house and it shook the whole thing. Yeah, pictures on the wall came. Yeah, it can do. It can do. Sherry V! Move away from... <laughs> move away from clouds, June. Move away, <laughs> Sandra. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> It'll be a case of, oh, we're not in Kansas anymore. <laughs> oh, Jerry, thank you ever so much, honey. We shall see. It looks like it's going to be okay. Sherry says we had to have our septic tank pumped from all the rain. Oh, in a low-lying area. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. I couldn't imagine having your septic tank like that. Mind you, a septic tank should be, a be lower than the house. But... Gone quiet. The phone moved. Oh, sorry. See if I can stand on it. There you go. Well, I think the panic is over. The thunder is actually moving further away. had enough breath I would walk you down to the creek but I, I don't right now I need to do a treatment so yep I love rain too but this has been this has been just way too much um, and I did take some video of the banking earlier today which I need to edit and get put up um, I guess I'll go back down, but hopefully tomorrow, and uh, take more video and see what the change is. But there are trees sliding down. It's crazy. So yeah, we're dealing with mudslides that are sliding down into the creek. Um, which is a, a huge problem because we're at risk of flooding here. Oh, look at those clouds. So, when the alarms went off, when I was talking with Trace on, on, on my phone, she looked at me and she said, so, um, what are you supposed to be doing now? What, what, I mean, what do they say that you're supposed to do when those alarms go off? I said, well, let me show you. And I took her out on the deck. 
just so that she could get the full effect of the of the tornado. But as the alarms kept going off, then uh, it's like, yeah, I've got to get up. And uh, things ready to, in case we needed to, you know, downstairs in case we needed to get ourselves downstairs. So, luckily, the birds are now starting to sing, so that is a good sign. <laughs> Traces, I'm a nutter. And drop you over. Waldo, what's the weather say? What's the station say? Yeah, bird singing is a good thing, it sure is. It went very quiet earlier. Then they started singing again. But you can actually see there are clouds moving in different directions right now. See if I can put you out there without it going off. Yes, they were hiding. That is so true. There are some clouds going in, in that. I think everybody's run off. No more tornado warnings. No more touchdowns near our area. Uh, those clouds are still moving at a, a pretty quick rate. Well, yeah, there are some dark clouds coming over. The temperature dropped to the high, to mid-50s. Now, after that, heat and humidity. Yeah, it's amazing, isn't it? Hey, it's amazing how... The temperature can stretch and change, you know, so quickly. But, I mean, I don't know if it's showing up on here. I'm trying to... There we go. I don't know if you can see, but there's clouds moving in different directions up there. The higher clouds are moving to the left and the lower clouds are moving towards us. Actually, now they're starting to go left again. So, the wind is up there is still kind of, you know, moving in different directions. Sherry Kay! <laughs> Sherry Kay says, don't get sucked up, Joan! Yeah, I'll be saying, I'm no longer in Kansas. Yeah, he's moved over, um, Sherry Kay. Um, thankfully, it was about 10 minutes away from us, so we are now safe. So, yeah, the clouds are moving. Um, yeah, the sky, not, it, it, it's looking better than it was earlier, Sherry. Um, but it's uh, very interesting. You know, to watch the clouds and, and see them moving in such different directions and to keep changing directions too. You know, sometimes they'll go left and then sometimes they'll come straight on and then now we've got lower clouds moving straight towards us and higher clouds moving off to the left. So, how am I feeling today? I've been feeling okay. Um, I took a walk down to the creek. We've been having some landslides on the opposite side of the creek um, 
No Wizard of Oz moves. <laughs> I promise, Sandra, I promise. Um, <coughs> I'm going to have to do a breathing treatment soon. Um, only because it's coming to that time. <coughs> um, I'm tired. I'm tired a lot. I'm still tired a lot and I don't know why. Um, I have not blood test done. My blood test came back. My thyroid level is okay. Um, I am slightly anemic. Um, my red cell count is down slightly. So, sorry I'm wobbling you all over the place. Yeah, swirling clouds, exactly. Swirl, when they start to go in a kind of a swirl, you know, circle type thing. Yeah. Run! I had everything all, I have of it. Everything's all together and downstairs, so I'll have my husband bring it all back upstairs in a minute. I even had him unplug the trilogy and take it down. I mean, Lord forbid we lose that, you know. So the other concern that we have too is we have a lot of very old large trees around our house and some that are pretty close <laughs> um, but unfortunately it costs a lot a lot of money to have them removed So we hope for the best. And I, I just hope that um, everyone is um, is doing okay, that nobody's hurt in these tornadoes. How's your grandson, Sherry Kay? How's the little one? How's the little nugget doing? Held. You know, it just occurred to me, I don't know which end of the, mi the microphone, that, oh, I shouldn't say that. Microphone is on here. I don't really know where the microphone is on this phone, isn't that odd? Oh, Kelby said he will share his nebulous with it. Oh, bless him. <laughs> Sweet little thing. Oh, my God. He's fighting and he will be great. Yes, he sure will be a great boxer. He's, he's doing a lot of good kicking and, and punching, that's for sure. Moving those arms and moving those legs, it's, it's good that he's, he can, he's doing that. Sandra, you go eat dinner. Thank you ever so much, sweetie. I will go do my breathing treatment very shortly, I promise. So, that was the excitement, folks. Thankfully, it didn't come. Oh, no. E, get out. That, that, was a, that, that was a mosquito. Sherry Holdren. Is there enough trees that someone would cut them for you? For lumber? Um, no. Um, because they're very tall. Very close to the house. And at the side of the house, they're close to power lines. Um... Now, the walnuts, I might be able to put an ad in the paper for somebody to come cut those. Because they use that for, um, you know, they use walnut for building furniture and stuff. Um, I'm not sure if the, the circumference is enough. I don't know if they're big enough. But um, we've got mulberry. We've got cherry. Um, the cherries are not that big, but the mulberry is huge. That, that, that one's, yeah. So. It's so peaceful now. 
and the birds are singing and that is a good sign. If the birds were still quiet at this point I would be running off but they're not. So I'm going to say thank you all for your prayers. Don't forget to please say prayers for Sherry Kay. Um, I have some more videos I've been doing that I have to get finished and put up. Um, I might need to go and do a breathing treatment. And um, hopefully we won't have any more of this. And uh, tomorrow, we'll, if it's not raining, we'll take a walk and we'll I'll do a, a little video of how it's looking down there at the creek again um, because we've lost so many there's a lot of trees that came down there's mudslides going on and so well, there's a huge tree that's kind of on the teeter totter there and it started to lean towards our property and um, depending on which way it comes down and how it comes down it could take our shed out so, you know, and it's not our land, so we can't go up there and start cutting willy-nilly. So I'm going to say good night, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Thank you all ever so much. Please make sure you keep Sherry Kay's grandson in your prayers. Um, he still has quite a ways to go. Um, I will do a, a little update video on that and get that put up. Um, and keep Sherry Kay and her daughters in your prayers too because this has been a very tough time on them and the family. So, and I also have another friend who's not been doing so great. Kicking and fussing and carrying on, my goodness. So, keep my... The Lord, I mean, the universe, the Lord, God, wh whoever you pray to, doesn't need to know specifics. It knows what your intent is, and uh, everything will go to the right place. I love you all so very, very much. I shall talk to you soon. And remember, when you look somebody in the eye, make sure you can say, I see you. Because one day, that person just might be you, and you're not going to like it. And boom, one step at a time, one breath at a time. We, I can do this. Mwah. I love you all. Bye-bye.